question. I'm almost done. Let me see. I'll take maybe two or three more. Next question. I like this. How do we determine and know the lineage we come from in terms of our forefathers? How do we decipher? Even though Adam was first man, but we hear of Abraham's lineage. Okay. So number one, Abraham is the father of us all. That's in scripture. But how do you know who is your spiritual father? Okay. That's actually a very good question. You do a spiritual DNA test. And I know some of you are like, huh? Exactly. Like how, if you were to, to when people want to determine their father and those who used to watch trash TV before we got saved, who used to watch Maury, Jerry Springer and all those other stuff. How did they determine the father? They had what? A DNA test, right? It, 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 even though if the girl swears up and down, well, you look just like him and blah, blah, blah. You know for a fact who the child's father is by the DNA. So it is in the spirit. Everything, you have a spiritual DNA test that tells you who your spiritual father is. For example, ugh. Okay, like for example, there are mainly two lineages that people come from. Mosaic and Elijah. Those are the main two fathers that you come from. Now, not saying you can't have some Elijah, like just like if you had an uncle, you may be from your father, but you may have some characteristics of your uncle. So it is in the spirit you are going to have some like for example for me my ministry i love the healing ministry in fact oh thank you holy spirit one of the best ways to determine which of the spiritual father speaks to you the most which ones do you see or you find the similarities because they're all from that lineage that God uses that to show you what lineage you're from. Like, for example, when the Lord first showed me this, I thought I was more in the Elijah lineage because I love the prophetic. I love things like that. The Lord told me, no, you're actually in the Mosaic. I said, what? I said, how is that so? And the Lord said, I'm going to give you a DNA test. He and this is what he told me. He said, you and your father, physical father, are in the same lineage spiritual lineage and he said i'll prove it to you he says simba who was your favorite bible character growing up i said david why is david your favorite bible character and i listed all the reasons why i love david and mind you my father was nowhere near me i never asked my father this question he said now ask your father physical father the same question so i texted my dad and i asked him who's his favorite bible character and why when my dad responded back to me, he said David was his favorite Bible character and he gave the same reason that I said David was my favorite Bible character. That's what you call DNA probability, spiritual. So I knew for a fact that, okay, in fact, someone recently, not too long ago, said that they saw the anointing of David on my life. So that to me told me already, okay, so I'm supposed to have what David has and I'm supposed to have what Moses had. So that's in that lineage. And so that's what you do. That's why you have to search for your fathers. You have to ask the Lord, okay, who is my, in ministry, who is my spiritual father? What lineage am I in? Who am I supposed to inherit from? You can inherit from both, but who's the one that I'm mainly going to focus on? Like, for example, Elijah's ministry was very big on raising the dead. Moses was very big on healing. My desire is to heal more than raise the dead. Do you see what I mean? Like there are some preachers who are like, they are, they walk in that raising the dead ministry. I, I like healing more than raising the dead. So that's 
where my lineage mostly comes from it comes from that for example even when i was transfigured for example looking at Catherine kuhlman benny hen asking for that that's why that's part of my lineage i didn't want i, I didn't want what entirely smith wigglesworth had or what some other um even john the baptist you you see what i mean i didn't want certain anointings and that's why i was very particular i said lord show me who are my fathers who who is the father i'm supposed to learn from okay and that's how you do it the easiest way is just to ask god or just to figure out who is your favorite bible character and why because there's treasure in their lives and then follow who else had that for example how do we know elijah's lineage well you had elijah you had elisha <laughs> who is after elisha gahazi screwed it up so where else do we see someone who walked in the same mantle ezekiel ezekiel had the same ministry that elijah and elisha had and then after ezekiel who's after ezekiel you see john the baptist do you see why yeshua had to fulfill that exactly moses glowed why because it's his inheritance yeshua glowed because that's his inheritance from moses are you are, are you hearing this here that's that's exactly what it is so that's how you do it ask god and then start looking at what bible character starts speaking to you whose life are you s compared to basically the enemy tried to take me out when i was four years old ask my mother try to take me out when i was about four years old i had seizures no one knew what was wrong with me okay that's inherited as well because if you look in the scriptures look at how many times the devil tries to kill yeshua when he was um a young or moses when he was young are you seeing this here so that's how you look at that it's inheritance all right